Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Wi-Fi of Everything. Um, I'm Robert Boardman, and this is my co-host. I'm Roel Dionisio. And today we have a special guest. Yeah. Good Welcome. afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this. <laughs> my name is Dennis Burrell. I'm the product specialist at Ventive Wireless Infrastructure. And what that means is that I come up with the ARF products that we sell in the marketplace. All right. Awesome. Which we have some of we those have some products of that here? here. Right in yeah. front of us. Exactly. Um, so what we have in front of us is what we call our aesthetics line of products. Um, we're looking at trying to make the sight of Wi-Fi much more cleaner, much more smoother. So you actually don't see the access points. Uh, mm -hmm. They're hidden. And we try to camouflage the antennas as well into uh, size products or size constraints. Yeah. We're going to edit Talking about aesthetics. Right. Yeah. 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 So, oh, no, we're live, man. We don't edit. Okay. Oh, well, we're in trouble. <laughs> You're good. But anyway, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to take our products, we're trying to make them smaller, we're trying to make them cleaner, we're trying to hide them so that when you actually see them, they're not eyesores. Yeah. And this one's a good example. This is a here. really good example of that right here. Right, exactly. So what we did here is this is what we call our junction box antenna. And what we actually did was we took a three-gang junction box, we embedded a 6 dBi patch antenna into it so that when you place this in your facility, um, you're hiding the antenna. So when someone sees this, they're just thinking that it's a light switch that you put a plate over the cover. Yep, yep. that's cool. Uh, of, of course, you can paint the plate with non-metallic paint. <laughs> that's, our, that's our favorite thing. Can we get some lead on this? We'll just that's go ahead a key thing. Lead non -metallic. Paste on there. Non just go to Home Depot, get some Rust-Oleum. I hear that's real good for your, right. your antennas <laughs> so, and your warranty. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> we, we'll avoid the warranty if you do that. But um, anyway. So, but when, when you're placing this, the good thing about this antenna is that you can place it either at the top of a room or down at the bottom because this antenna has uh, 45 degrees of articulation. Oh, oh nice. Go. So you can set it to match what you got in your Echohal pattern or if you're using Echohal or whatever site survey mm -hmm. tool you're using for predictive. By the um, way, you see that'll be a, a couple grand for that shout out for Echohal, <laughs> by the way. Just wanted you to know, we worked that in for you. So, <laughs> And once you set it, um, you can lock it down and then you have it at the articulation point that you want to maximize your RF coverage. Yeah, because this goes right into the wall, as you can see. Yeah, that's... Right. That, it just mounts right into it. And you'll, box, basically, you'll, you'll yeah. Put, before you install it, you'll want to yes. angle the antenna that goes, here's the wall, goes right into the wall, and it's just a faceplate. Yeah. And so for the people that's not too familiar with it, what once the faceplate is off and you, you've gotten your angle articulation that you want, once you screw it in, these come up and secure it to the back side of the oh, wall. Oh, Nice. So yeah, so you can get that just because it is kind of funny. You're like, well, this is at a 45. You're like, oh, how do we do Yeah, so that'll help that. Awesome. So what um, else do we have here? What's this big well, guy? Well, I really like how we took the traditional coffee can. Right. And it's about <laughs> half the size of a coffee can. Soda can. Right. So, so, we, were, so, so we, we call it, we affectionately call it our oil can. Oh, so we went nice. from the coffee can to the oil can. And basically what we have is we still have 6 dB of gain, an <laughs> omnidirectional pattern, but we did some things with the radiators in order to shrink the size. Oh, nice. Mm, okay. So what happens is with, when you're designing the antennas and the radiators, the closer you get the radiators, the more that they couple together. So that's where your coupling comes in, and okay. that's where you get your distortion and your pattern. Okay. So what we did was we, we played some tricks with the angle in the radiators at different degrees mm -hmm. okay. within the within the radome so that we could maximize that omnidirectionality gotcha. and get the same performance of the paint can in the oil can. Nice. <laughs> We're gonna, this is your paint can in an oil can. <laughs> yep. um, I guess then we can move to, well, this one's probably my favorite. Okay. So so let's let's go in order because okay. I'll, I'll kind of give you a... Um, <laughs> All right, we'll go in order. My no, bad. No, There's really, some structure I, I'll to this. I'll try to give you, give you how, how we came up okay. with them in the names, right? Okay. Awesome. So this one right here is what we call our micro patch. Okay. It's a it's a uh, 6 dBi antenna. Okay. Um, directional antenna. Um, 90, about 90 degrees of okay. uh, beam width in the vertical oh, and the horizontal. That's not bad for that tiny thing? Right. Now, so... <clears throat> For the trade-offs, 
and high density, you want a larger front to back ratio. Okay. Right? With this antenna, you get the gain, but you don't you don't achieve the full range of front to back ratio that you would want in a high density. So you may get some bleed. So over don't mount, in don't the mount that in twenty feet high. Right. right. <laughs> well, you still can, but you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose some, some of the RF. Um, what clarity. we say the cell, yeah. the cell, the cell okay. size. Okay. So, but. What it is good for is that it is good for high density. It, it can be good for high density. Mm -hmm. So pretty much with the antennas and what we always tell our customers, and I'm sure that you guys get as well, is do a predictive, yep. mm -hmm. then do a sight mm -hmm. to make sure yeah. that it's performing to what your predictive is and adjust no, accordingly. You, 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 prove, you, you right. pick the antenna that's right for the situation, exactly. not pick the antenna for the situation. Exactly. <laughs> so... From this, which is our micro patch, uh, we had some customers that approached us and said, hey, we like this, we like the performance, but it's too large for where we want to place it. <laughs> Can this you come guy? up with something okay, smaller? Ooh, this is my hand. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's uh, like, here's, here's, the, here's the coffee can. We've gone can. from this to yeah. this. <laughs> right. I, mean, right. I thought this was a really good size, with the, even with the mount here. Yeah. You've hidden the cables right. to go through to, into the wall. Right. Yeah. So one of the things that we like to that's, do that's is, too large. I'm um, gonna, I'm gonna remember that yeah. by the way. No, but so one of the things that we like to do, we, we like to hear the voice of the customer. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, we have we have over probably 300 antennas in our portfolio. Wow. Jeez. Um, and we only got dating, five of them. Here. Dating back from when Ventif started, which it used to be Terraway. We changed the name. Because Tony only okay. said so five. So you got all. You, so you have all of that, right? Okay. So all of our newer antennas is where we're coming up with the innovative designs. Okay. So we're listening a lot to our customers and they tell us what they would like mm -hmm. and we'll go okay. out and we'll see if we can come up with something. So hence, this, this started out from <laughs> this. From this big guy here. This, yeah. is, this, <laughs> is, <laughs> this is the micro patch. This is... The nano patch. Nano patch. <laughs> I'm about to say, you Where can't are we gonna get go? a, There's no way you can get smaller than that. They're both 6 dBi, aren't they? 6 dBi. Whew. Um, but for, like I said, <laughs> for the design that was needed, mm -hmm. this was um, applicable to what they needed. So Where do you this worked for thing? this. So this actually mounts in the ceiling. Okay. And it's hitting, it's hitting up in the ceiling okay. where you won't see it. Okay. This is a directional antenna. Yeah. Um, so like right above like a, like a drop ceiling or yes, something like that? Yes, it's above okay. a drop ceiling and uh, the access point that. is up there as well. But if it's directional, you're a lot better than dropping like say one of these above a drop ceiling. Sure. Right. But <laughs> this, this is such a small profile. Yeah. If you paint it the same color as the drop ceiling, you won't and see it. You could probably even cut a little square. Yeah, it looks right. like, it looks like most... mount with the... And hence, this is why it's this color. Now, yeah. this particular a customer, um, very aesthetics driven. Um, this oh, is actually a custom a paint. Hotel. <laughs> this is this is actually a custom paint that they came up with okay. that they actually designed. Oh, nice! So um, sweet. Look at that. Yeah. So this is what they wanted. So when they put it in, if you look up. Although it's there, you won't see it because it blends in with okay. the color scheme yeah, that's nice. of their building. Right, right. So you Trying said... Trying to trick all of us RF engineers. Right. We're like, where's that patch? Right. Is this it's also somewhere. still 90 degrees? This is Yeah, this is 90 degrees. It is um, dual band. Mm -hmm. Now you said yeah. you can't get any smaller. <laughs> oh, no. But... <laughs> We will be coming out with another there, there design, is. which is called the Pico Patch. Oh, I was about to say, how do you get smaller nano? Then, then you go Pico. The but Pico Patch. Driven by the same customer. Exactly. The Pico, <laughs> and, and you're absolutely right. Yeah. He's you're like, could right. you get that a little smaller? So, so the 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 impetus, the impetus behind it was, hey, you've done this one, this antenna for us. We use this at 12 to 15 foot. Okay. Height. All right. Mm -hmm. We need something that we want to use at 30 feet. Oh. That's a higher gain. Oh. So wait, you're going higher gain, small, yes. smaller footprint. Higher so, gain, so smaller footprint. Only, it it right? don't even sound right. Yeah, now. I was about to say. But how is that you, possible? You just, you just hit the nail on the head. It's, gotta it's be... a five gig only okay. design. Okay. Okay. All right. So it's that a five makes gig sense. only design. So okay. it'll, it'll just operate at five gigahertz. But it's actually. That cuts half the stuff out of the, it's, you, it's actually you about go. half the size of wow. this antenna. Yeah, that's crazy. 
because you won't see that anyway. Right. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to need smaller. one of those because we're going to have to take pictures of that and I'm going to be like, you can right. just hide Wi Fi anywhere. We can anywhere. do a five, both of them off of it. Two fives. Are they doing do- I'm, <laughs> exactly. just saying two- I'm just saying. Exactly. Don't get exactly. too crazy. Exactly. Here. Now, speaking of dual five, mm-hmm. oh, nice, this is nice our segue. five gig only micro patch. You like segues. We're good like that. Now, the five gig only micro patch was specifically designed for a dual band radio design okay. Okay. for. The Cisco 3802s right. with the dark connector. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right? Which you can see here with the right side. I like that. That's very mm-hmm. appreciative. Now, the difference with this is that this has the same performance and beam widths of the Cisco 2566D4M, mm-hmm. but only at 5 gig. Okay. Gotcha. When you connect the dark connector, it's five gig only. Yep. yep. So now you got a smaller footprint for your for your antenna yeah. mm-hmm. compared to the dual band Cisco version. And we're seeing a lot of issues where people are always like, "Oh, you can't get them too close." No, the whole thing is I want to put one there and I want to put one right. here. Yeah. And then I have just a single two four, like a dual band two four, just because we all know two yeah. four will cover. And you know, it's becoming best effort now. Two four is becoming best effort. And so with this, you can cut down on the purchase of APs. You can, oh, yeah. you, That's you, know, you, you can start providing like in an auditorium. Now you're hitting two sections mm-hmm. across from each other with, with one AP. Footprint. Right. Yeah, exactly. Now the, and, the one thing I noticed though with this as different from the other antennas is this cable. Right. Why is this cable different? Nicer to work with, you know, very right. flexible. So one of the things that we, well, we, it, it was a few reasons why we did that. One is that with the um, 3802s and when you're placing the antennas, you want that large separation between the two. Mm-hmm. With the large separations and the cables comes the attenuation. Also, bend radius of the cables if you have to maneuver yeah. the cables yeah, in a things, certain way. These things are like coax. So exactly. Never tried to- <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep. So what we did was we did a, a, a thinner cable so that you'd be able to bend it. It has a better bend radius. Than the standard cables yeah. that we use Especially on if you our have antennas. To fit it through some sort of conduit. Exactly. And then nice. um, when we do our when we do our antenna designs, we design our gains out to the connector, so we take the cable loss into account as well. Mm. Okay. So when you say this is a six dBi antenna, it mm-hmm. is a six dBi antenna to here. Yeah, it's six dBi at the cable, cable. connector, not ah, just six okay. dBi and that's, at and that's where the cables all, connect that's for to the all antenna. antenna. Yes. Okay. okay. That's good to know because that's something that you're always trying to factor in. Especially, it's like, okay, I have a six dBi. Oh, that's that's good. Right. I have a six dBi, and then okay, right. now I have a one foot the, or yeah, three foot cable. cable. All right, is this low loss cable? Is it not low loss? What kind exactly. of low? So that's nice to know that all I have to do is say six dBi. Anything right. you put on it elsewise, now you can buy a cable and de- determine. You don't have to try that. Figure it out. Determine right. that out. And typically, our standard lengths on our cables are three feet. So we okay. always do 36 inches, three feet of cable. Anything longer than that, we we sell uh, jumper cables. Okay. okay. Typically, anytime you're outside of three feet and you're starting to get to six, 12 feet. Then you got your connectors. You got the connectors, yeah. that loss. And then we now you're talking about more loss in the cable. So we'll start recommending low loss cables for 12 feet to 15 feet. Okay. Because okay. you want to minimize the loss going through the cables so that you can keep the gain of your antenna. Right, right. Okay. And then I guess we're down to this yeah. big boy, which is a 6 dBi, which is interesting considering. Yeah. This is the antenna right here right. on top of this. <laughs> so this is what we call our colo mount, our colocation mount. And um, the reasoning behind this is that uh, we were approaching a lot of universities. We actually probably approached Stanford as well. <laughs> <laughs> Plug. I'm sure. <laughs> but anyway. Stanford. That was a plug. Right. But we'll anyway, so um, what <laughs> we did was um, we were seeing deployments where they were using external antennas uh-huh. with their access points. So you would see the access point. Then you would see the cable going to the mm. antenna. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not too pretty. And that's pretty. Right. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a fan of yeah. that design. You can paint this cable black Same color. Oh, because it's above the... I'm just saying. Yes, above the cell, yeah. <laughs> but I wouldn't be surprised they come back in that Pico design. Excuse me, can I get the cable in a black? So that's that's, that's specialized. So, <laughs> so 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 what we what we like to what we like to say about Ventive mm-hmm. is that we take into account three factors in our designs. Yeah. And then in our set sale of our antennas. Okay. Price, performance, and quality. Gotcha. So we feel as though we're the leader of all of those three. So with price, performance, and quality, 
that's what we get. That's what we put into our antenna designs. Okay, cool. Customization. We do customization. Like I said, we we do. Um, we get customers that ask us to do certain things. Yeah, yeah. We've got a few of those hanging right. around here. We'll <laughs> painting the video. cable is customization. <laughs> so, You're so, like, we can, but you know, they've already thought about. Ain't nobody going to see right. it. Do and you it, really? It, and and it's dependent on the customer, right? Yeah. So if they want it, we can do it. But it comes down to, again. They're also like you said, where it comes down to performance and price. It's like. No one's ever going to see this cable. Right. Do you really want to spend thousands of dollars resheathing a very standard cable for something that nobody is going to see? Exactly. Somebody might go, right. yes. that's in my plan. Right. And you go, all right. So, <laughs> so, so, what, so back to the story of the universities is that they had their classrooms, they had their lecture halls, mm -hmm. and they needed high density. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. So we came up with this, what we call our co-locating mount or colo mount and what it does is the access point fits under on the base side the antenna has an antenna plate that fits on the top side mm -hmm. and the cables have um, a mount mounting points where you can route the cable so that you can't see it so we basically taken two pieces of components the antenna and the access point hidden the cables and made it look like one piece so when this is when this is okay. mounted you don't see. Yeah. Uh, you don't see. This looks like anything. a standard for like a Cisco AP. So this this one is for Cisco AP. We also have one for an Aruba AP as well. Okay. So it is. So this mount itself is to the AP. This yes. part of the mount. It's, yes. Yeah. So the base with the key locks is where the AP sits okay. in. That's nice. This, you don't have to use the little metal plate. Right. You don't have to. You just yeah. drop it in. You lock done. it in there. Yeah. And then this one is specifically for a 3800 series, 3802. And what you have here is we actually have articulation both mm. in the azimuth and in the vertical. Oh, right. nice. so you can, you can, you can, it's, it's locked right now, but you can cool. rotate it. Mm -hmm. You can rotate it clockwise, counterclockwise and up and down. That's awesome. really cool. Yeah. And it's got the knobs here on the side. Yes. Uh, so that locks vertical. it in to whatever angle that you want it in. Yeah. If you're um, in the front of an auditorium and you need to angle it down to the seat. So okay. if you wanted a different, say, antenna on this, say you wanted a higher gain antenna. Yes. Can you, does that mount where you can, is it easy to pop that out or do, would that be a different top as far as how would that work? Is Right. So one of the things that we, we try, that we try to do to simplify to simplify our mounts uh -huh. and our mounting structures is that our antenna mounts and the uh, mounting poles or the mounting screws that come out the back of our antennas, we keep them the same pattern nice. so that we can swap out so, antennas. So AP vendors, could we like get together? Because you know, there's nothing really proprietary about mounting an AP. Right. Can we just get together and fix that? Pull that. <laughs> <laughs> so we can take. We could take. Uh, any number of our antennas and swap them out and put them That's in there. Awesome. We have this is a six dBi version. We have a four dBi version. Oh, cool! Um, if you have some very high ceilings in your auditorium, we have a ten slash eleven dBi version nice. as well. Awesome! Okay. Wow, well, you've you've gone through all of these different types of antennas. Showed us why you would use one over the other. Some advantages, aesthetics. I mean, what? I guess we should tell everyone you've made these antennas which yeah. is pretty awesome to have you here yes. in front of us the guy who's created <laughs> yeah. the antennas so. yeah so these guys would see me at the conferences and they would just <laughs> oh that's the sales guy, sales guy. Yeah. don't worry about them but no, yeah I'm, I'm behind really <laughs> i'm behind the design of the majority like, of these just, antennas just, just to boost your ego how many of these antennas are not aps how many of these antennas here did you design uh All of them. Okay. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, we have a couple more stuff that we're going to show with Ventif, so we're going to do some more recording. So I hope you guys enjoyed this yep. one on their small form factor and aesthetics. Yeah, if you it have any comments, yeah. yes. leave them down below, comments. If you have any questions, let us know. We'll answer them. Yeah, and if we don't know, we'll pass it to Dennis. We'll, we'll pass it to the guy who created them. Yeah, we'll pass it to the guy who knows. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this episode. We hope you found it very insightful, very educational. And if you have any comments or feedback on this, on this video, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you guys think. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can get uh, access to new episodes, know when they come out. And also, we got some other videos right here for you to check out if you haven't seen them already. 
Well, we'll see you guys soon.